Good evening. Welcome. Hi, teacher. How are you? I'm good. I'm so happy. <laughs> nice. <laughs> I'm so good. I'm so happy. <laughs> Great. Glad to hear that. Today you were not working. Uh, yes. Uh, I am the going the working in the morning. Mm -hmm. Um the 3 p.m. Uh, yeah, uh, back at my house. 3 p.m. 3 p.m. Great. So you rested a it's little a bit. Short, shortly day. <laughs> it was a short day, yes. Nice. And do you usually have a short day on Tuesdays or different days? It's on it's on day um no conventionally. This is... So you don't know when you're going to have a short day. Uh -huh. it's, it's a... Oh, nice. But yeah. sometimes you have a short day. It's Wednesday. Wednesday. Sí. It could be Wednesday. Wednesday. It's uh, termine temprano, se dice. Finish que? early. early. Mm -hmm. Finish early. Y last class. Yes. <laughs> true. True, true, true. <laughs> Hey, good evening, everybody. Welcome. Good evening, teacher. Well, good evening. partners. Hi. Well, I think uh, we need the energy from Ferman. <laughs> Ferman is very enthusiastic and energetic today. He had a short day, so he's really happy. <laughs> he's celebrating. Okay, well. Today we have the in no, well the interview I was gonna say no the survey yeah hello hello everybody says uh, Isabel hi good evening we have the survey at eight forty five yes a quarter to nine we have the survey okay so just as a reminder if I forget then you remind me okay all right what day is today. Today is Tuesday for October 2022. Exactly. Today is Tuesday, the 4th of October, or October 4th of 2022. <coughs> That's right. Well, say something on the on the chat. Anything that you want to say about the last class? <laughs> How do you feel? <laughs> Are you going to keep in touch? Are you going to be in contact with each other? Are you going to keep practicing? Whatever you want to say regarding the last class on the chat, okay? It's time to write on the chat. Mm -hmm. Okay, yes. Okay, help you can be in touch. Hey. What else? What else? What else? Okay. What else? Somebody else? At least say good evening. <laughs> okay. Say hello, everybody. Oh, you went to Paris last summer? No, Helen went to Paris last summer. <laughs> Hi, Adriana. How are you? Fine. How are you? I'm doing great as well. Thank God. Yes. Well, it was a really busy day. Actually, Mondays are my administrative days, but Tuesdays are really busy, busy, busy. We have lots of meetings, lots of classes. So it was a very busy day. Okay, my day was very good, but we are closing. <laughs> we are closing this course. It's true, 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 true. All right. Well, I see not many messages, so probably as we progress in the class, you can get engaged into writing. Okay. 
So we still, yeah, we also have Freddy, Daniel, Freddy, Daniel. <laughs> Are you in San Miguel or in San Salvador? Just have that question. Good evening, teacher. Hi, good evening. I am San Miguel. You are in San Miguel. How's the weather? It's very hot. <laughs> <laughs> it's very hot as usual. <laughs> yes. But you do have a very good signal of internet today. Yeah, sorry? The internet is good. Yes. That's great. Oh. Yeah, that's nice. Yeah, that gives the opportunity to people from San Miguel to study and to get connected. That's great. How about Carlos? How do you feel now? Are you still sick? Hello. Hey. Uh, I feel better. You feel better. Nice. You see? Feel better. The medicine did the trick. Uh, today, <laughs> uh, today, I finished medicine. <laughs> nice. You see, I told you. It takes some time for the antibiotics to get some effect. Okay. All right. That's good. Well, it is the last class and let's have the attendance taken. Adriana. Present. Carlos. Present, teacher. Christina. Present. Daniel. Present. Perman. Present, teacher. Hazel. No, we don't have Hazel anymore, right? Hector. Present, teacher. All Driving. Right. Now. Driving. Careful. Irma. My God. My God. I'm sorry. The dog got his folder already. <laughs> All right. Let's continue. All right, Isabel. Mayra. Hi, teacher. I'm here, Lucy. Hi, Lucy. How are you? Good, thank you. All right. Mayra's not here. All right. Okay, Samuel. Hi, President. Wendy. Aquí estoy. Hi, Mayra. How are you? Fine. I didn't listen. Sorry. Tengo que ser bien Okay, Jacqueline. Present. Hi. All right. I'm sorry if I didn't mention some people. It's because you know there were Hi, some sound. Hey, Irma. Good evening. Good evening. How are you? I'm fine. How do you feel about the last class? <laughs> Release. <laughs> Release. <laughs> Are you going to rest and oh, relax? So. <laughs> relax. <laughs> you need to relax. Elsie. Eh, eh, teacher, creo que no me mencionó. Really? <laughs> yes, I did. <laughs> sí, lo mencioné. Pero ya le puse su attendance. Don't worry, but thank uh, you. Sorry. <laughs> sorry. It's all right. It's all right. Yes. No sé si alguien más se me quedó. No. That was it. All right, perfect. Yes, all right, all right, all right. Okay. Time to rock and roll then. Okay. <laughs> Let's get started. Okay, here we go. This is, yes, our class 20, our session number 20. This is our last session and yes, the reminders. So we're still having this uh, 
you know, objective to practice the past tense, but now the yesterday was to write an, an invitation for, oh no, a recommendation for a training on an email, right? And today we have to write an invitation letter for a training using the simple past. So usually uh, in business, you know, like English for work, we need to write this formal document. So that's why it's the idea that we have to write emails and letters, right? So definitely that's what we're gonna do, okay? So let me just get the manual. I had it somewhere right here. Okay, we're gonna take a look. We're gonna do a brief review of the topics that we've been uh, studying. So we started talking about trainings on this last unit. And the first thing we were doing was um, talking about trainings in general and how often you attend and the places where trainings take place, right? So we usually say, yes, trainings uh, sometimes take place at the workplace, definitely at the same company, in the same offices sometimes, or sometimes we have like conference rooms, so we can have the trainings there in the same spot. But sometimes we're also sent to trainings at hotels, at a conference uh, rooms near uh, the, the workplace could be as well, right? At universities, maybe, it all depends, right? So yeah, that's what we uh, started studying. We started practicing, but we've been practicing the past tense, right? Did you, did you attend the training last week? Yes, I did. So that was like the original um, idea, you know, talking about training, but at the same time using the simple past. And this is the most, let's say, basic form of asking questions about the past. What about today? Did you? Okay, let's see. I'm going to write a question using did you. Okay, we start with did you? And we'll say blah blah blah. So did you send emails? Okay, we're talking about today, okay, and the activities that you did today. Did you send emails? Did you visit clients, right? Did you call on the phone? Mm -hmm. So we can have like different type of activities using did you. Did you visit clients? Did you write emails? Did you send emails? Did you check emails? Did you receive emails? Did you go on a training? Did you participate in a meeting? Did you organize a meeting? So any questions using did you about today activities, okay? So the idea is that you ask yes, no questions, okay? Yes, no questions about today activities okay using obviously did you okay and oh, of course so okay did you drive a car did you have lunch in the office? Did you use a computer? And yes, I did, no, I didn't, would be the answer, okay? So you get the idea of this activity? Asking yes, no questions with did you about the activities and answering with yes or no short answers. For example, for a month, did you go to the office today? Repeat, please, teacher. Did you go to the office today? Um, in the morning? Uh, yes, I did. I went to the office in the morning. Okay, yes, I did. Uh-huh. Uh, I am office in the morning. I went. I went, I went. Uh -huh, I went because I said, office. did you go to the office okay. in the morning? Yes, I did. I went to the office in the morning. Okay. Okay, okay. Great, good. Isabel. Did you ride a motorcycle today? No, 
I didn't. No, I didn't. <laughs> no, I didn't. I traveled by bus. I drove a car. I took a taxi. Uh huh. Terrible traffic. Repeat. I travel by bus and uh, terrible traffic. <laughs> okay, but that's not a surprise in our city. <laughs> okay, all right. I travel by bus in a terrible traffic. Okay, I'm sorry to hear that. Okay, so this is the idea. Get creative about asking yes, no questions using did you. Okay, imagine, escriban cinco actividades, like, Ride a motorcycle, text a friend, cook lunch, I don't know, five activities about today. Solo escribanlas así, tal cual. Y a la hora de preguntarle a su partner si le van a decir, Did you go to the doctor today, for example? Did you visit your friends? Did you stay at home? Did you? Whatever. Did you and the activity that you write. ¿Ya las tienen las five activities? Yes! No yet. <laughs> okay. All right. I hope you get creative. Yeah? Got it? Five activities. And then you ask your partner. And your partner has to answer. Yes, I did. And puede dar un poquito más información. Yes, I did. I went to the doctor because I was sick. Yes, I did. I prepared lunch last night and I had lunch. And I had that for lunch today, right? Okay, so practice did you questions, okay, with your partners. So that is the idea. Let's see, we're making groups, okay, groups of three. Va, entonces eh, las cinco actividades, vale, por ejemplo, yo he colocado, aquí lo desayunaste, eh, tomaste café, son solo actividades, ¿no? ah, café hoy, ¿verdad? Eh, y usas el peligro si quieres agregarle más ajá es I be I went I went to you feel to work yo fui a trabajar así Ajá, algo, algo así como lo, lo, lo que hemos hecho. Did you walk to the to your work? Did, did you go? Uh, uh, excuse me. Did you walk to your work? Que como que si usted caminó hacia su trabajo, oh, a su yeah. trabajo. Uh, I... No, 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 sería la respuesta en la tuya sería, no, I didn't, uh, I take a bus. Ah, ok, you took a bus. Yes. Entonces si le pregunto, did you took a bus, usted me va a preguntar, no, usted me va a responder, yes, I did. Yeah. Hi. Uh, I want to write down. Mm -hmm. 
yo realicé pruebas. Estará bien si yo pongo ID Realize Test. Or I made tests. I make. Mm -hmm. O sea, ahí no hay problema si pongo los dos verbos juntos. I did make. No, solo el made. El did ya no lo necesita para afirmar. I made tests. ¿Usted pasó las pruebas o usted las tomó las pruebas? Yo las hice. I made tests. O, y de un, es más, de un solo podría usar el verbo I tested. Ajá. Uh -huh. O sea. Testear. Ajá, o sea que si yo en este caso si yo pongo ID es como que usted dijo que estoy haciendo énfasis ¿Cómo que usted hizo el examen? Ya me confundió ¿Cómo así? <risa> Vaya, prueba de qué hizo pues O sea, yo estaba probando un equipo Ah, so I was testing I tested Ajá. equipment Ay. Test, de una vez el verbo. Tested, ah, el test ah, tested. puede ser un verbo también. Test, testear, tested. dice uno en español. I ah, tested I some tested. equipment. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Por ejemplo, eh, si yo, yo pongo eh, manejé a Nejapa, I puedo drove. poner I drove to Nejapa o yes. I did drive. Him. No necesita el did en la afirmativa. El did solo nos sirve para preguntas y para negativas. <risa> Para las afirmativas necesitamos que saber el verbo en pasado. Ajá, okay. Solo sirve para preguntas y negativas. Yes. Exactly. Todos los días se prende algo. O sea que tengo todo mal. Tengo Ajá, todo mal. Es que por eso les digo, ustedes escriban las actividades normal. Ya después solo le van a agregar did you. Ajá, pero ya para preguntar. Exacto. Pero, ajá, para ponerlas que, ajá, sé que yo las estaba poniendo, entonces, mal. No, tú solo pongas las normales, así, en, en base form. Ajá, uh -huh. solo, I check inventory, I check. Ajá, uh, check inventory. Uh, o sea, todos los días se van. Ajá, do exercise, clean the house, check email, o cualquier actividad. Pero ya al preguntar si le va a decir, did you, did, did you, you check inventory? Yes, y I el verbo ya va normal. Va normal porque ya tengo el día. Ajá, el día. Eh, ah. Y con el desayuno es... Pre, es Puede ser make, have. make, have, eat. Ahí va a depender. Make es preparar. Pero si usted dice yo desayuné. Puede ser ah, have yo... breakfast or eat breakfast. Es que como, como el desayuno lo ponen como... Por ejemplo, el, el almuerzo, have lunch. También o sea, se puede, sí con, con cualquiera de los tiempos se puede. Have lunch, have... Have breakfast, have dinner. Pero también se puede poner eat. No es que es pecado, ¿verdad? Ajá. Porque okay. sí. Ok, thank you. Si no le hago la pregunta, me quedo con todas manos. <risa> Uh, no esperamos. ¿Qué le dicen a los No. Ahí la respuesta es que se va a decir: Yes, I did. No, I didn't. Uh -huh. Y si uno quiere responder. Por ejemplo, más. si yo le pregunto: Si usted quiere, puede expandir. Pero si ya expande la, pre la respuesta, perdón, usted ya dice: Si sí tiene que usar el verbo en pasado. Por ejemplo, uh -huh. si yo le digo: Did you try to make up today? Eh. Yes, I did. I drove to Nehapa. Vaya, ya tiene que usar el verbo pasado porque ya está firmando. I drove to Nehapa in the morning. I drove to Nehapa all day. Okay. I drove to Nehapa twice. Really? <laughs> Jesus Christ. It, is, it was called for par partners. <laughs> I know. I just okay. drive once in a day and I feel like... <gasps> Me fue un poco atragantado el almuerzo. Ay, no. But that, that is very common at work. Sí. Very es common. Que, no, tuve que llevar una respuesta a unos compañeros y después resultó que necesitaban otros. Yo ya había regresado a Soy. No. <risa> ah. 
how far yeah. is they have uh, how many kilometers like 15 uh, i don't know but in time is like an hour it's uh, from so mm -hmm. uh, one hour right i no, no. 20, 20 or 25 minutes. Really? Yeah. Because you went on la carretera de oro. Yes. Mm. I... Exactly. <laughs> 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 no llega en 25 minutes. No. Yes. Uh -huh. Ah, baby, that's why. <laughs> I know. San Salvador is terrible. Well, okay, continue. But... Okay. Okay. <laughs> entonces ahí está la maestra no sí. está la teacher sí. Ay. teacher ¿cómo se pronuncia el pasado de read? Que me red que red verdad como el color red, Ajá, red se escribe totalmente igual pero se dice red para saber que ese sí red. es el pasado de read red pasado okay. Entonces sería, do you read, no, do you read? Did you book? read, did you read a book? No, I don't. No, I, I read the book. Okay, did you read a book? Yes, I did. Or no, I didn't. Ajá, y si quiere expandir más, es I read the newspaper. I read the new, ¿qué dijo? Newspaper, que leí otra cosa. Ajá, si usted dice, no, I didn't, porque si le preguntan, ¿le, ¿leíste un libro? Y usted dice, no, no leí un libro, pero leí el periódico. Right? You can explain a little bit more. Ok. Mm -hmm. Para mí, sí. Está la teacher, ya la oí. Clinic, ay. <risa> teacher, te, tenemos, hey teacher, nosotros somos los que vamos a aparecer que ahí en, en todas las clases que solo pasamos preguntando. That's okay. I mean, nobody, okay. nobody worries about. Right. Dice que solo una pregunta, tenemos una consulta con, con, con Isabel. Uh -huh. Dice, nosotros queremos preguntar más o menos a qué hora llegaste a tu casa, porque uh -huh. como obviamente no es que se va a traducir así. Literal, ¿va? Uh -huh. Entonces nosotros hemos colocado, what time do you arrive in your house? Pero la respuesta nosotros le hemos puesto como, I did arrive at 7.30 p.m. En la respuesta ya no necesito el lead, a menos que yo sea dando una respuesta corta, pero como usted no dice una pregunta de yes, no question, sino que ah. de, de qué hora. Entonces dice, what time did you arrive home? Or, what time did you arrive to your house? I arrived, ahí ya pongo el verbo en pasado, Ah, I arrived okay. to my house at six. Right. Ese es una D, ¿verdad? Porque se... Una D. Arrived. Okay. Arrived. Right. Agrego D. I yeah. arrived. At 7.30 p.m. Oh, wow, that was late. Eh, Isabel. Mm, in a terrible traffic. Yeah. yeah. No se yes. fue por el guaje ahora, Isabel. No. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, El guaje is a very good shortcut. Yeah. El guaje is very good. It's, 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 it's a carretera. A road. A road. On a road, a very sinuous. <laughs> it's terrible, pero para sacar a la gente de Soyapangua San Marcos, es. In the mountain. Yes, it's around the mountain, definitely. Yeah. But you get very soon to, to the carretera al aeropuerto. You're sí. going to the airport. Una vez la tomé. Hmm. Porque yo vivo en los planes. Y really? Tenía, sí, tenía que ir a una a visita. Plaza ahí, Mundo. A Boca Deli. <ríe> really, exactly. Right there. Cabal, me fue a dejar. <ríe> If you trust the ways. Sí, en un principio iba con miedo. <ríe> It's scary. It's scary. Sí. Yo he ido un par de veces, pero siguiendo a mi jefe. Mucho, <ríe> no me voy a dejar. <ríe> And he drives like crazy, believe me. Hmm? <laughs> y un montón de túmulos. Sí. A lot of cierto. bumps. 
donde ya me tranquilicé cuando ya vi el, el cementerio ese. El, sí, porque eh, ahí hay un montón de rótulos, ¿verdad? Que, yeah, ya está todavía... close, close to the civilization. Ajá, exacto. <ríe> ok, va. Yeah. De... Entonces, la segunda, la, la, la cuarta pregunta. Lo que se está haciendo, yes, no questions o information questions. Uh, yo entendí que usted dijo que hiciéramos information question. Mm -hmm. No. Yeah, yes, no questions. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Para que okay. se tenga que responder, did, yes, I did, no, I didn't. Did you take dinner? Uh -huh. okay. Did you have dinner, Isabel? Ah, did you have? Yes, yes I did. Yes, I did in this moment. I take I'm dinner. having dinner right now. <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay. yes, I did. Uh, entonces sería, I have. Dinner right now. Dinner right now. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, pero sería en vez de take, sería have. Have or eat. Suena mejor. Porque take es como que sí lo tomo, pero no me lo tomo. Okay. Have mm -hmm. or eat. Eat. Dinner. Lo tomo y me lo como. Ok, ok. Yeah, entonces sería, did you eat dinner? Entonces sería, yes, I did. No, pero... We finish. All right, no problems. No. Great. Daniel, did you drive to your work yesterday? No, I didn't. <laughs> did you work or to the to the bus? Um, I I work the I work. Okay, you work. Okay, Elsie, did you buy bread in the morning? Uh, repeat, please, Daniel. Did you bread in the morning? Bread. Uh, Breakfast? Ah, uh, pan, bread. Hi. <laughs> yeah. I, I didn't. No, I didn't. In the morning. Ah, okay. Me aguanté. Superé la prueba. Um, uh, Daniel, did you see movie? Uh, now? No, I don't. I I in class the English. Yes. Elsie, did you send okay. email? Uh, no? Yes. Uh, uh, no. And um, yes. You say the the if when. How do you use if and when to join clutch? Eso no lo hemos visto. Estoy viendo, buscando el, donde nos quedamos. If, have, speak. Into that. Ok, ya me perdí. Nombre, si ya estuvo. Ah, lo viste la vez pasada que no estuve. 
Ya me acordé. Sí. ¿Mm? Ah, pues sí, finish. Sí. Go, sala. <risa> All right, we're just waiting for the others to join this space and let's get some practice. This kiddos. All right, let's start. Let's start with Samuel. Ask a yes, no question to Lucy. Where I can see the questions or or her activities. You are in mute. I'm sorry, I didn't listen to good. Okay, the uh, Lucy, did you drink coffee today? Yes, I did at morning today. How many cups? One, once. One. Okay. Yes. Did you send emails today? All day I I did. Yes, you did. Yes, I did. Okay. Yes, I did. Did you lunch in the noon? Yes, I did. I take, I took my lunch. Okay. And did you cook in the dinner? And uh, not really. <laughs> <laughs> I went I arrived too late to my home. Okay. What do you dinner? And um, dinner um a little sandwich. I bought in the in the road. We can hear you. We hear you very, very far. Yeah, I think there were some problems with her microphone, but thank you. Good job. Yes. Well, two or three questions. It's it's enough. Don't worry. Thank you. All right. Let's see. Next one would be Irma asks questions to Carlos. Okay. Uh, hello, uh, Carlos. Uh, did you uh, coffee in the morning? Did you drink coffee in the morning? Uh, did you drink coffee in the morning? No, I didn't. I don't like coffee. All right. <laughs> no like. <laughs> no like. No. <laughs> uh, did you uh, water? <laughs> Did you drink water? <laughs> <laughs> yes, I did. I drank uh, a lot of water. <laughs> drank a lot of water. All right, that's correct. Okay. Did you check the repo? No, I didn't. I I don't check help. I didn't check any report. I didn't check the report. Okay, very good. Nice. All right, next one would be Ferman as questions to, let's see, Christina. Hi, Christina, good night. Hi, Ferman. Did you go breakfast today? Did you have? Did you have, did you have breakfast today? Uh, yes, I did. I have. I have, <laughs> I have cereal for breakfast. Okay, did, did you drink coffee in the afternoon? Uh, no, I did, I don't like, uh, I, I don't like coffee, I prefer a chocolate. 
Okay. <laughs> uh, what what time did you arrive in your house? Um. Mm. Repeat. Yes, please. Okay. What time what did time you arrive? You arrive? Mm -hmm. Yes. I arrive. Uh, arrive. Arrive. Um. Seven p.m. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. The, great. That's okay. That's okay. Don't worry. Okay. At 7 p.m. Very good. Okay, do you remember what do we have at this time? ¿Qué teníamos at 8.45? I told you. The survey, exactly. All right. Okay. Pueden ingresar el link, so you can access to the link que les enviaron para el survey. And let me know when you are ready. You may have to see when you're in list, please. For aquellos que no están como muy seguros, if that is the survey, I can show you. Okay, this is the survey. When you get it, you say, "I'm ready." I'm ready, teacher. Okay. I perfect. am ready, teacher. Great. So we're waiting for everybody to be ready. If I did yesterday, uh, I have to do it again? Yes, sir. Okay. I'm afraid. <laughs> okay, don't worry. Yeah, I'm afraid you will have to do it again. All right. And don't forget. Don't forget, when you finish, you have to send the screenshot to the WhatsApp group, okay? Yes. So don't close it. After, after you send it, you get the screenshot, and then you can go any other app that you need, right? Comenzamos, Ficha? Yes, you may start. Okay. Are you able to see this? So these are the main uh, information. I don't know if you're able to say this, but I can also paste this number. Orden de inicio. I can also paste it on the, I mean, you can even copy from the email. You can just copy paste, okay? So, but I can also put it. Okay, let me just finish this. Okay, if I can put it right here on the chat. Okay, you can even copy those information, right? That's the number one. Ingresa el número completo de la orden de inicio con guiones y pleca será proporcionado por el proveedor. Puede copiar y pegarlo. Okay, so nombre completo, as in DUI, the email address is the one that you have provided. The cell phone number, then the sexo, says sexo, yes, of course. If you think of those, you need an asterisk, eso significa que todos son requisitos, okay? So you, you have to complete all the information. Departamento de residencia, of course, if you live in Aguachapán, Santana, San Zona, Chalatenango, so, a, don, a qué departamento pertenece el municipio, el lugar donde usted reside. Empresa donde trabaja tiene que ser exactamente el nombre que proporcionó, el nombre comercial que proporcionó para inscribirse en este curso. Nombre del proveedor, con quien se capacitó, con quien se capacitó, que es Inglés Corporativo International, Reload International SLSB. Yes. Y luego valore los siguientes aspectos relativos al curso. La fecha de inicio y fecha de finalización también se las voy a poner ahí para que ustedes las tengan. Yo creo que también las tienen, pero igual. I can put it there on the chat. Okay. Teacher. Yes. The screenshot uh, we, say, we sent in the group. In WhatsApp. In yes. WhatsApp. Yes. Okay.
Teacher, donde dice nombre del proveedor sería. Eh, es corporativo, Rio International. Inglés corporativo, Regal International SB. SRSB. Ok, thank you. Nombre del curso. Inglés principiante módulo 6. También lo pueden copiar y pegar de acá del chat. Este es. Ay, pues el chat lo he puesto en el de este. En el de Zoom. Mm, por eso que lo veo. We got Fernández screenshot already. Thank you. Muy bien, Fernan. Thank you. Es importante que le agreguen su nombre completo al screenshot. Sí, that's another reminder. Right? Okay. Thank you, Cristina. Teacher. Yes. Solo una, una. Eh, en las fechas de inicio y de finalización. Uh -huh. eh, según la, la encuesta que mandaron en el correo, uh -huh. aparece el formato como día y mes, uh -huh. pero en la encuesta es mes y día, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. No hay problema. No, no hay problema. Siempre cuando coincida. Uh -huh. When we start, eight we or six. We started on the, no, on the fifth of September. So, um, uh -huh. And uh, we are ending. The order, the start order. Mm, the first one? Yep. The number that it's here on the chat, I copy it 28, 6, 3, 7, 7, 8. It's better if you copy and paste it. Can you see it on the chat from Zoom? Ah. Yes, it's okay. there. Mm -hmm. Okay, Jacqueline. Jacqueline, tal vez no puede editar con su nombre completo, please. El screenshot. Elsie, thank you. Then we got Fernand. Christina, Elsie. But Jacqueline. Your name is not complete. Okay, Daniel, yes. Wendy, yes. Okay. You can. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Jacqueline. This is Santero. Adriana, yes. 
Victor Samuel Great. All right. All right, all right. Lucy as well. Okay, good. Who's still missing? Say me. Todavía está pendiente de enviar su screenshot. Nobody? Okay, hey, so I guess let me guess. No, thank you, hey, so okay, wells, wells, wells. Isabel, did you do it in progress? In progress, yeah. In progress. Necesita ayuda? Do you need any help? No, solo que como estoy en el en el móvil. Mm -hmm. It's okay. All right, no problem. We get you. Los demás ya subo, ¿verdad? We're done. Sum up. We're done. <laughs> Great. All right. Well, thank you so very much. There is a formal procedure that we have to do the last class. And now the attendance the second time. <laughs> okay. All right. Okay. Thank you, Naira. Naira, Naira. Yes. Okay. Here we go. Adriana. Present. Carlos. Christina. Present teacher. Present. Daniel. Present. Kelsey. Present teacher. Hazel. Present teacher. Present. Hector. Present teacher. Irma. Irma. Present teacher. Hi. Estoy en el estoy al encuentro. Don't worry. It's okay. Isabel. Present teacher. Hi, Lucy. Mayra. Present teacher. Samuel. Present teacher. Wendy. I am here. Jackie. Yes. Present. Almost. Lucy, present. Did I mention you again? No. <laughs> Lucy, I'm sorry. Oh, it's because I, I usually skip like two people next to you. Then that's why. All right, good. Okay. Let's go on. Okay. As I was mentioning, yes, I have. Yeah, this was the information that you need to include. Okay. And of course, let me just go to this letter. We have to read this. A uh, following invitation letter for a training and answer the questions below. Okay, probably you have done this type of document at work. As we did yesterday, we did um, an email, an email uh, recommending a training. Now we are writing a letter of invitation. Écheme así como un glance, una ojeada a lo que dice esta letter. Y luego me dicen. Que parte está como like difficult 
o alguna palabra que se les dificulte o algo que se complique. ¿Ok? Take a look. Okay, any difficult word? Any difficulties? No? Easy peasy? All right. So definitely this is a document that is sent in the company, right? It says, dear colleagues. This is the name of the company. Center Marcella cordially invites you to the annual accountants training workshop to be held on April 4th. 2018. So we have to change to 2023 now because it's in April. Okay. <laughs> so the event will take place at the Grand Hotel. The theme for this year's workshop is conflict resolution. A professional speaker will be conducting all the workshops. Full participation is appreciated. The program will run from 9 a.m. to 1 p.m. Breakfast and lunch will be provided. Please confirm your attendance to Peter Salas at gmail, should be gmail, not gmail.com by March 15th of this year, of course. Yours, Peter Salas and Marcela. So this is the person who sends the letter. Okay. So you do have some questions regarding this, okay? These are the questions that you are supposed to answer. How often does the training take place? When is the training take place? Who is conducting the workshop? What's the topic for the training held this year? What is the request made at the end of the letter? All right. The main idea first is that you read, okay? As I told you, reading aloud helps because you are practicing your pronunciation, your intonation, your comprehension. First, read. Read and your partner listens, then your partner reads and you listen. Then, of course, you discuss the answers for these questions, right? When you are done with these two activities, you are going to write a similar letter. Three things. First, read. Then, answer the questions. And the third thing, tienen que crear una similar. Una carta similar. The invitation. La pueden crear in pairs. O con la persona con quien estén trabajando. No necesariamente. Yo no traigo marmita. Yo no traigo marmita. ¿Cuántas estoy escribiendo? Ok, no necesariamente. You're going to do it on your own. Right? You can do it with somebody else. All right. Let's see. Ok, I hope you are in pairs. And if the case is that you are in trio, so do it in trio. Right.
mire si Teacher, las preguntas las hacemos nosotros, ¿verdad? No, también se las acabo de adjuntar. Son, son las preguntas que ya da el manual acerca de esta carta. Ah, ah yes. Dos. Vamos a ver. Ajá. Y todo lo que necesitamos para... Y los proyectos que se presentan para el siguiente año. Kick off, ok, podemos decir. Hi, teacher. Ok. Piensa que estamos hablando con Mayra, se recuerda de que ella mencionó que ella tenía una eh, celebration. Uh -huh. <ríe> pues, entonces estábamos pensando que en base a eso podemos invitarlo, pero él me está diciendo de algo de, de, de otro que tienen a inicio de año que se llama Kick off. Sí, como el lanzamiento. Ah, uh -huh. un release. Uh -huh. Ah, ok. Sí. Entonces podemos decir eso, como por ejemplo... Vamos a escribir una, una, una invitación para hacer... Ok, entonces... Event. Podemos poner... Eh, dear partner. Dear colleagues, dear partner, that's ok. Ok. Dear eh, colleagues, me gusta mejor. Más formal. Más formal, de colleague. ¿Cómo se dear dice, colleague. teacher? Colleague. 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 Conga, conga, Colling. 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 Conda, conde. Conga, conga, de gato. Colling. 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 At six in the morning. Okay. Good, thank you. Good, thank you, Jacqueline.
Um, Es en abril 4, ¿verdad? Eh, ajá. 2018. Sí. Eso sería. Eh, La otra es, who is conducting the workshop? The workshop. ¿Quién vea? ¿Quién conduce? ¿Quién conduce? Upa. Bien, dice um, professional speaker. Resolution. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But this request made at the end of the letter. What is this request? Ah, ¿cuál es el? Es un request. Esto al final de la carta dice. Here. <laughs> Daniel, hi. Uh, hi. I don't see you. I have a small screen. <laughs> Muy pequeñito. No, no, no. Yo no miraba a Daniel porque tenía la pantalla pequeña. Oh. Entonces, esa nos hizo así. <laughs> How often does the training take place? Once in a year. In the, at the Grand Hotel. No me acuerdo para qué fue, pero en el que se puso. Sí. 
At Cajamarca. Cajamarca. Teacher. Ok. Aquí habla ya de, de cómo. Fíjese. Oh, oh, espérame, sorry, solo sorry, le, le, vamos, sorry. le vamos a preguntar por lo del Will. Eh, fíjese que tenemos una duda con, con Mayra y es uh -huh. esta. Will Years Project. O sea que se van a, a, a decir los, los proyectos proyectos de, del año de, próximo año ajá no pero no, año. no sabemos si está bien escrito tal vez le puede acercar un poco más ah, okay. like, de su general okay general manager cordially invites you to the annual kickoff training about the teamwork and will mm. Next Year Projects está bien. El will es sobre todo cuando va a ir una acción. Will be held, podría ser. Ok, punto. Después de Projects, puedes poner punto y decir The training will be held or it will be held porque se, le llevará, se llevará a cabo. Va, vamos a ver, entonces sería Training about Teamwork, así estamos bien. Uh -huh. um, And Next Year Projects. Next Year Project. Ajá. Projects. Así. Ajá, y pone un punto y luego dice it will be held. It be. It will be. Will sin el tú. Be held. Ajá. Ahí no necesita el. Ajá. Se llevará a cabo. Ajá. Okay. On first Saturday. Ajá. On first Saturday of. No necesita decir month. Solo es el first Saturday of January. Ok. Uh -huh. Nosotros decimos en el mes de enero. Pero en realidad en inglés ya se sabe que January es un mes. No puedo. En, no. Ajá, en el mes de enero decimos nosotros. Ajá, pero lo traducimos literalmente. En inglés no es necesario porque ya se sabe que es un mes. Entonces, first en Saturday el... of January. Exactly. Ok. Uh -huh. 2023. Uh -huh. The will take place at Okay, excellent. Right. Thank you, teacher. You're welcome. Right. Entonces ya tenemos eso. Y the them for this year workshop is con... Ah, mira, nos adelante.
pero no. por el trabajo en el que nos queda mejor de 8 a 10. Sí, definitivamente. Sí. Es por el tipo de trabajo. Sí. A ver qué tal. Sí. Are you ready? Are you ready? I think so. Do you have the invitation? Oh, sorry. Do you have the invitation letter? ¿Escribieron una invitación similar? Oh, no, solo contestamos las preguntas. Mm. <risa> Sigan el mismo pattern, el mismo patrón de la letter que ya les dan ahí para crear algo similar. Ah, ok. Ok. All right. Pues no hemos terminado. No, oh, pues hay que hacer una nueva. Hi, did you finish? Yes, teacher. Did you write a new invitation? We did in this moment. All right. <laughs> we will do it right away. <laughs> we will going to do it. Hi. Everything Hi, good? Hi. Did you finish? Yes. <laughs> ya casi. Eh, no yet. <laughs> almost, <laughs> almost. Están escribiendo una yes. cada uno. Yes. Yes. Ah. Así, así entendemos esto. All right, no problem. So, no, lo podían haber dicho en conjunto, pero if you want to do individually, no problem. Okay. Mejor ya les queda ahí. <laughs> ya les queda ahí en su bitácora y la envían ahí en, en su work. Okay. Solo para enviar el email. <laughs> Exactly. <laughs> Only copy paste. Copy paste. The, the for development of the team will be invite como habíamos invite como habíamos dicho pero invite cómo se escribe invite invite así invite invite así es ajá para el desarrollo del tema la invitación será mm. Mm. Los invitados. Por development. Te estoy confundido. Of the team. Por the development of the time. The time, se dice. Will time. we. Will we invite? Invite Raúl Pérez. <ríe> Lo dejamos así. Sí. Va, si no, que nos corre. Eso a los copy paste.
Algo así, se me ocurre. Vale, Carlos. ¿Qué, sí. ¿Qué tiene ya? Sí. Ya terminó. <risa> pues yo digo. Lo... Eh, ok, si quiere la escucho. <risa> Solo estoy aquí dando una chequeadita. Vaya, yo lo he dejado así. Hay algunas cosas que, que se, las he, se las he dejado en la conversación. Vaya. Dircoles, un forces. Cordially invited you the last meeting of the year for the comfort area. Training workshop 
to the hell in November 30th, 2022. Uh, then will take place at the company meeting room. The thing for this workshop is uh, that best management and administration. Very professional people in the company in science branch have been invited. Full participation is as just appreciated. The program will run for 8 a.m. to 2 p.m. <clears throat> Breakfast and lunch will be provided. Please confirm your attendance to enforce it on uh, animal and arroba gmail.com. Uh, San Salvador, October 2022. Best regards. Así lo he dejado. Ok. Yo, bueno, yo tomé la idea, pero sí creo que lo, lo cambié. <ríe> pero, o sea, el contexto es el mismo. Yes. Bueno, puse. Dear colleagues, Central Office makes an attentive invitation a training. The week. Good. Ya lo practicaron. Eh, no. <risa> Porque lo van a tener que decir. En public. De como, aquí es como pasar a exponer en la escuela. <risa> Literally. ¿Lo hicieron en digital o lo hicieron en papel? ¿Cómo así? Ah, no. En eh, papel. Lo pasamos en limpio. No, ¿por qué no? Entonces no se preocupe, o sea, si lo, lo tienen en, en algún Word document lo pueden proyectar, pero si no solo lo leen. Lo, ah, lo... lo proyecto aquí en la cámara. Ah, sí, lo... <risa> <risa> It's ok, no problem, pero la idea es que, que si lo digan. Ok, ok. No worries, no worry, no worry. Entonces, ¿cómo hacemos? Lo pasamos en limpio. No, porque ya no hay time. No, ah. Solo lo lee. Pero si sí decían quién lo va a leer. The time to eat over. Yes. Oh, my goodness. Hello, it's me. Where is everybody? Hello from the other side. <laughs> okay, they are still in their breakout rooms, but they are coming. Okay, are we, re are we really ready to read the invitations? Aren't we? First things first, let's compare the answers for the exercise. Oh no, one second. Bin. <laughs> okay. Here we go. Scrolling down. One second. All right. So we already answered this question. How often does the training take place? Hmm? 
Right. We've answered these questions, yes? How does the training take place? ¿Con nuestra historia o con la historia que está aquí, teacher? No, primero respondamos las cuestiones acerca de lo que está acá y luego leemos nuestra invitation, la real ah, one. Ok. Uh -huh. uh, the place is the Grand Hotel. Uh, yes, but that is... Uh, uh -huh. That is the place, yeah, but how often does the training take place? It takes place... Annual. Annually, so ah, that means... Uh -huh. Once a year, because it's in the year, it takes place annually. So it takes place once a year. Okay. How often does the training take place? It takes place once a year. Okay, when is the training taking place? April 4th, 2018. Okay, April 4th, 2018. That's right. Who is conducting the workshop? Professional speaker. A professional speaker will be conducting it. Right. What is the topic for the training held this year? Conflict resolution. Conflict resolution, that's right. And what is the request made at the end of the letter? Confirm the attendance. To confirm the attendance, that's right. Excellent, okay. So now I'm going to stop sharing the screen because you wrote a very similar invitation for an event, for a training, because I, I, I heard that you were practicing for different events. And now, if you did it on a document, you can share the screen and read the, the invitation. If you read it, I mean, if you did it on paper, you can just read it. Are we ready? No. <laughs> <laughs> you don't look very ready. Yeah, teacher. Yes, Bye. you are. I know. The first group was made by Christina, Daniel, and Samuel. Who is in charge of representing this group? Christina. <laughs> Democratically. All right. <laughs> okay. Um. Their yeah. college, um, banquet, banquet Cantida cordially invites uh, for the annual account training for a business, business for call center. The event will take place. Uh, Mar Hotel Margaret. Um, it, the program will run from 8 p.m. to 5 p.m. Breakfast and lunch will be provided. Please confirm your attendance to cramos.bancatlan.sb we September uh, 200 um, <laughs> 2000 or 20, 20, 20, 20. 20. Yes. all right um, es, es como la best regards, best regards. <laughs> 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 okay. all right good job Nice, that is the idea. Okay, nice. <laughs> All right, the second group was for Man and Mayra. Eh, Mayra? Fernan lo notó ahí, que no pasa. Ay, lo tiene bien bonito, yo lo supe así, muy raro. Okay, Fernan is gonna share the screen. Okay. Así como professional design invitation, ya yeah, todo. <laughs> Okay. Dear college, general manager cordially invited you to the annual kickoff training about teamwork and next year projects. It will held on first Saturday of January 2023. Pero, sí, ya va. <laughs> the events will take place at Cajamarca. 
for the then developed with the invaded will by the psychology professional speaker Raul Perez. Full participation is appreciated. The program will run from 7 a.m. to 5 p.m. All inclusive. Please confer your attendance to Roberta Hernandez, arroba P E arroba como se dice teacher. <laughs> 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 Ahorita me click en la cabeza. At, at P -U -P -Y -E dot com. com by December 5, 5, 5, no, no, 5th, 5th, 2022. All right, good. Okay, general manager invites. Invites. Invites, yes. All right, the reactions. Don't forget the reactions. The third one, Jacqueline, Lucy, and Wendy. Dear Jacqueline, and the this letter is to explain about the training I was taking last month in a Plaza Hotel. The topics uh, I received in this play in this training are about safety environment and prevention. And I I will invite you for some this train in this um, month. And I recommend you for your professional skills. Sincerely, Lucy. All right, thank you. All right, the next group was Hector, Irma, and Isabel. Teacher. <laughs> Tell us. Everyone, we want to invite you to continue learning English. The next course will be intermediate level one. We'll, we'll start on 7th. I don't know. October. 7th of October. <laughs> yeah. We hope to count with your participation. Please confirm the attend for a third place. If you want it, you must bring your lunch. Thank you. Group Irma, Isabel, and Hector. Ah, that was so nice. Okay, please confirm the attendance <laughs> with Hector. Okay, so where are where are we gonna meet? Because we need to bring the lunch at Cafe Talon of <laughs> 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 Centenary Park. <laughs> no. okay. Where? Okay, no place. We don't have a place yet. All no. right. <laughs> <laughs> Still learning. <laughs> okay, let's see. The next group was made by Carlos and Elsie. Uh, Carlos. <laughs> <laughs> Carlos, ya lo sabía. <laughs> I knew it. <laughs> Porque no me extraña. <laughs> Okay. Dear colleagues, Central Office makes an attentive invitation a training. The width it will be carried out at Intercontinental Hotel. The day Wednesday, 23rd November 22. 2022. The schedule will be from 8 a.m. to 4 p.m. There will be two recesses of 15 minutes. In the morning at 30 at 10 30 a.m. In the afternoon to 30 p.m. The training will try about 
files import between Excel, Word, and PowerPoint programs. The breakfast and lunch, they will be included. You could to confirm through the email centraloffice or gmail.com. Yours sincerely, Veronica Sala, Central Office. All right, nice. <laughs> Good. I'm interested. <laughs> <laughs> okay, office. It's very, it's very important to take this first. All right. Any question? I think that was the last group, right? Yes, we had in the other one Hazel, but I don't know if Hazel will do her participation. Nope. Okay, never mind. Never mind. It's all right. All right. One second, please. It just need to. Hmm. We can do it from here, so it's all right. Okay, one last thing right here. Here we go. Okay, you see that you still have some practices for the past tense verbs, the pass of meat. Met. Met. Solo quítenle una e y ya. Met. Have. 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 Speak. Spoke. Spoke. Go. Went. Do. Did. Did. Right. Wrote. Wrote. Send. I don't know. <laughs> Vamos, Carlos, vos podés que nos estás dejando hoy. <laughs> Help me. Qué bárbaro. Vos podés, Carlos. Sam. No, hasta que lo descubra. Oh. Yo no voy a decir nada. <laughs> <laughs> Yo no voy a decir nada. You are supposed to. Ajá. Uh -huh. Okay. Alguien que ya lo haya investigado. <laughs> Obviously. Just do it. I don't remember. Pero por ahí está Fernando haciendo el trabajo wait, de investigación. Wait a moment, please. <laughs> wait a moment. Sent. Uh -huh. Sent, exacto, solo cambia la última consonante. Son pequeños trucos para que se recuerden de la forma pasada de los verbos. Ok, read. Real, equal. Only uh -huh. El spelling es totalmente igual, pero the pronunciation is red, like the color red. Ok, sí. So. So. And run. 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 Change the letter, the vowel sound. Run, run. Okay? Then, no puedo mover el PDF, así que tengo que borrarlo. I'm sorry. <laughs> I hope you remember. And let's see. Use the pass of B to create sentences. Acabamos de ver, obviamente, pass de cualquier otro verbo. Pero estas oraciones en específico tienen que ser escritas con el pasado de be. Lo único que tienen que recordar es para cuáles sujetos es was y para cuáles sujetos es were. Right? I. The pass of be for I. I was. I was at the cinema last night. <coughs> Simple as that. Vale. Voy a dar dos minutos para que piensen cuál es el pasado en cada una de las sentences y luego les escribo. No worries. Think about. Okay. 
Ya, empezamos. I was, was a the cinema <coughs> last night. <coughs> last Friday night. Number two. We were. We were. Uh -huh. We were. In a cafe. In a cafe. <laughs> Ay, ¿por qué y ahora sí lo dicen en español? No, porque coffee es el drink, el café, el lugar. Es the cafeteria. Y like, se pronuncia igual, teacher. Exactly. <laughs> ¿Por qué? <laughs> <laughs> es que el como café es nada más la abreviación de cafeteria. Ah, ok. Es Entonces, como cuando este... ustedes decían, Don Pedro's Café. Ya, yeah, ok. Uh -huh. es, también si nos vemos el restaurant. A small, but restaurant or cafeteria. So we were in a café. Hasta tilde le voy a poner teacher. <laughs> no lleva. <laughs> When you go. <laughs> ok. When you called. Hmm, pero aquí hay alguna cosa que yo estoy viendo que es question mark. Entonces, ¿qué significa? Que es Very una bien. pregunta. Exactly. Entonces cambiamos el orden, ¿verdad? Y decimos. Where are we? Where are we? In the cafe. When you call. Mm -hmm. Este también es question. Ya veo que tiene question mark. Was I late? Esto le suena familiar. Yeah. <laughs> uh, was I late? Yes, you were. Mm. Como que le preguntan a ustedes asumiendo demencia a su supervisor. Ok, next is also a question. Where are they? Where are they? Oops, wait a second. Were they late for the interview? Were they late for the interview? Yes, they were. They weren't. Oops. Wait a second. Andu. No me voy a hacer que se nos quedó atrás. For the interview. Where they get for the interview? No sé por qué se va a escapar la caída. Okay, next. What, what, we, what was his name? ¿Cómo se llamaba él? Uh -huh. What was his name? What was his name? All right, and the last one. Ah, why were you? Why? Why, why were? Why, why? Why were? Why? Why were you late? Why were you late? I was in traffic. I am asleep. <laughs> <laughs> I overslept. Yes. Overslept. Porque ese es como dormí de más, me quedé dormido. Overslept. Se dice. Overslept. Overslept. Uh -huh. Porque todos dormimos, sí, pero que durmió de más, que no levanta a la hora que se había levantado. That's, that's something else. I overslept. Bye. Mm. Ya, tenían su screenshot. Got it. Wait a moment. Wait a moment. Wait a moment. Yes. Wait a second. Take it easy. Chill. Okay. Thank you. Good. Bueno, como nos harán, nos habremos podido dar cuenta, ese bueno prácticamente de los last exercises. Ooh. Finish. Aquí nada más les quedan como 
Tres oraciones que poner en orden. No worries. Lo hacen ustedes. Creo que we're done. La llama se <laughs> <risa> Another night is lonely close. Ya veo que canta bastante. I love singing. Pero aquí no se puede porque YouTube no deja subir el video después. Really? Sí. Por los derechos de autor. Identifica los rights. Sabe que en un basic one me identificó el ABC y yo. Ah. ah, for real. Copyright, copyright. For real, tuve que editar el video y yo, oh, no puede ser. Y el día ha salido bien. ¿Mm? Obvio, <risa> obviously. Oh, wow. <risa> oh, please. <risa> ok, yo me hubiera ganado los $15,000. dólares. <risa> no vieron eso, ¿verdad? No, I know. I'm not a professional. I'll just love singing but i'm just a fan a fanatic all right thank you so very much for the patience every single night for the attendance for the cooperation for the tolerance <laughs> okay <laughs> i know it's a lot of work it's a lot of things to do i hope everything goes well in the future courses oh keep learning I hadn't realized until Hector mentioned it that you are going to be in intermediate. Yay, that's an achievement. Isn't that good? I know, sacrifice. I'm, I'm excited. I'm excited about it. Usted ni dejen hablar al siguiente teacher. You show what you know, man. That's the idea. So, excuse me, I just have a question. Yeah, but, you know, I want to say this and that and that. You, you have to talk a lot because that is the idea, okay? That you improve, that you practice, that you show your progress and everything. I know you have very good skills. Sometimes you're just very tired, but you can do it. I know all of you have very, very good skills you have acquired lots of vocabulary lots of knowledge lots of fluency lots of grammar that's really important okay so anything else teacher yes thank you you have you are a nice person thank you, you so ever much. have a, a, a long smile <laughs> a big For smile each... <laughs> come on, come on. a big smile Uh -huh. it's a smile and it's very very comfortable work with you thank you very much i learned learned a lot with you thank you thank you i appreciate me too kind words all right the rest thank you teacher very nice teacher okay keep in touch okay keep in contact with your bye partners. thank you Help each other Love see you later in, in the next course. Bye. 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 Good night. Rest. Nice to meet you. Mm -hmm. Nice to meet you.